Joel. I play the drums in the band called Wolf Alice. I grew up in a really musical household. I went to a little guitar club when I was in year three, and that kind of set me off on my path. And my whole teens was all about guitars, and then me and my friends would get more into electronic-based production stuff. I was always in London, trying to immerse myself with like, musicians in London, and that's how I came into contact with the guys in Wolf Alice. A friend of ours was managing them at the time, and their drummer had broken his arm, and he rang me up and said, can you play drums at these two festivals? I was like, yeah. I'm still in the band. <laughs> I think I'm really lucky, like, I'm in a band with three amazing people and if I want inspiration, I just email them an idea. You know, that's how we've kind of always worked, really. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a lot. My yeah. first ever interface was a Focusrite Scarlet. Two channels, no MIDI, just DI'd my Juno into that and onto GarageBand. So using the Claret Plus, we use it the whole time to be tracking all the demos. So it's been a huge thing for us when we've been writing and trying to keep our workflow speedy. We all know how to use it. It's, you know, it's simple in a good way. Someone's got a riff and a beat and they need to get it in quickly. You know? Don't have to overthink it too much. There's a time and a place for overthinking, but at the, at the beginning when the idea's there, that's just not what you want to do. Even you can go to the most expensive studio and go through whatever the next day, but it doesn't capture the moment, and we've used focus right to capture the moments, you know. I've always flown out with focus right products that is really warm but clear. I think you're dealing with really great sound. Yeah, I think that's really, it's really audible today. You know, that's it's a nice kit, but still, like, it can get muddied up and it sounds crystal clear. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, today I've been so impressed with the air function. With cymbals, sometimes if you're pushing the top end, it just becomes a mush, and I think it's so impressive to be able to hear it kind of cutting on the top end, and it's really percussive and clear, and not too garish. That's really important for me, especially with the kind of drums that I like to play. For me, music, there just has never been anything else. I've never kicked a football. Like, I can't really read and write. So, like, music was kind of, I'm kind of happy it worked out in the way it has, to be honest and it just gives me the best sense of joy.